Recently I picked up myself some radiators. So I wanted to try radiators in my house. My house is forced air, which isn't the greatest heat in the world, but I figured I could probably fairly easily plumb in some radiators. So I picked these up. This is an old five tube radiator, which wow, they are a pain to clean. I've haven't successfully, even with the cat's help, gotten this one cleaned up yet. I also got four three column column radiators. And I thought, wow, this would be great They're under my picture window. I was going to use this one. This is a 12 section one. Should put out, uh, I think we calculated at 10,200 BTUs by itself pretty serious radiator but when I pressure tested it this section the center column somewhere there's a leak in it so not using that one I got in the collection I got two seven sections and an eight section after pressure testing everything this one this seven section is cracked. It's got a crack right here. It's also got a big nasty crack right here. Second section in. So I don't know how many other cracks it's got in it, but I have to figure out how to, if they can be fixed. These are not assembled with threaded rods. They're threaded nipples. One side is right-handed thread, the other side is left-handed thread, and there's a key, you know, two ears in the center of the nipple. So if you remove this plug, you'll see them, and you can put a tool in there and spin them to get them apart. But yeah, 70-year-old radiators, cast iron, steel threaded nipples, eh, we'll see. In the meanwhile, I did get the eight section and the other seven section refinished and right now they're sitting in my living room partially plumbed in so this is where the two that are already refinished are going and cleaned up put them right under this big picture window here this is the coldest spot of the house the hot air ductwork is actually run on the opposite side of the house, the plenums and the returns, and there's just small five inch round ducts that go to the vents over on this side of the house. That's where one of them is there. This is another one. I took the vent out, and since this is a temporary install, these radiators don't really fit under the window like they should but the ones that I have so that's what we're using for for now being that it is 10 degrees out and windy so I took the one vent out and going from threaded pipe to PEX I'll run the PEX downstairs into the boiler and this nice piece of birch plywood will get holes in it so that it'll cover this uh, area up and not look too horrible. I'm also going to put a supply and a return temperature gauge up here just to see what's going on. And I went with a rather than putting a hole in the floor here on the supply side these are run right in series and then put another hole on the return side here I decided to loop back some black iron pipe for the return and just run it all the way over to here where it will terminate into the pecs man, man you can hear that wind howling out there so this morning I'll get this threaded piping done up here 
and now we'll get down to the basement and have a look at where it's going to end up. So this is the bay we're going to run it into. Poor Joyce Bay, that is. As you can see, there's the uh, X return part up there. And we're going to run the supply and return PEX line down this bay. It's all going to end up over here at the boiler. <laughs> 